counters and uh, some combination of logic gates a little bit further so let's look at this circuit so I say this is a flip-flop uh, that's uh, the Q naught is connected to D and the, you have your clock signal and this is your output and this is your clear signal let's try to figure out what's happening in the circuit so if the clear is one that means your output that is your Q is gonna be set to zero until the clear is one and when the Q is zero Q1 Q naught is gonna be one so let's say we, we pass this uh, edge it's a trailing edge a uh, flip-flop let's say we we, uh, we don't we set our output right after this so I'm gonna make it zero you can make it a uh, transition right here but I'm just gonna skip it for now so when you have a trailing edge it's gonna output is gonna take a snapshot of input and the input is your Q naught because they are the same so the circuit is gonna take a snapshot right here and it's one so it's gonna go to one until the next clock transition trailing edge since this is one it's gonna go to zero and it's gonna basically follow that this is zero so it's gonna go to zero and this is gonna be all like this so you can see the difference between this and uh, the input signal that is your clock so your output is actually have the similar pattern but it's much slower so if we uh, were to think of uh, our inputs are clock and Q then you would have uh, all the combinations that you, you would cover here so now I want you to think about this one it's the same circuit I just labeled them it's clock 1 and clock 2 and those are the same uh, the circuits I just uh, took out the clear signal out of here so what is happening here is if you look at here at this moment your outputs if you say if you're looking your outputs clock uh, clock 2 and clock 1 it's 0 0 at this time and here it's 0 1 1 0 1 1 and then again 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and this goes on and on so basically you have the repetition all the time here so you have 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 this way if you really want to count basically you can use these as your two bits so that is the that is the whole idea and here is what I'm gonna do let's say we have a end gate from your inputs uh, I mean outputs I'm sorry and this is your let's say X so since it's an AND gate if we have a truth table here clock 2 and clock 1 and X 0 0 would be 0 0 1 would be 0 1 0 would be 0 and 1 1 this is the only case that you would get a 1 and if we apply that in this circuit if I were to draw the X X would be only 1 when both 
clock signals are one. Otherwise, the x would be zero. So if I were to draw it, please bear with my uh, poor drawing here. Then you would have a signal like this. So now we used an AND gate to make a circuit that would only be one in a uh, in a, in a period periodic way.